here in my backyard in the green garden because we had a really bad storm um, last night. So I'm out here checking out and seeing what's happening out here. But as I was checking around, look what I saw. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Check this out. Uh, we planted some of these autumn beauty sunflowers right here. Well, check this out. And these boxes over here, um, they are starting to come up. Let me zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. See? They're starting to come up, you guys. I got one. Look like two there. And then let me pan you over here. Do you guys see the green right there? I've got some growing there. And then I got one way at the end. So, woohoo! These sunflowers are coming up. And we're going to be planting some more sunflowers today. So, I just wanted to let you guys see that too. All right. Oh, and I've got this um, trellis that I purchased at um, all these, the ones that had the birds on them. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to trellis up. I think it's my cucumber because this rain that we've been having, child, that cucumber vine is out of control. So I've got to tame it. And of course, I got my shovel and I also have my gloves on, my gloves and my boots all right the girl is ready so let's go on and get that cucumber trailed up and then i'll show you my um beans over in that corner because remember i did the sugar snap peas so i'm going to go check on that and see how they're doing so let's go see because these are the oregon giant snow peas so they're doing good these are the ones i transplanted from that fun red garden but this is what they're looking like. You can see the seeds over here. See, they're starting to fill in, but they're not ready to be picked yet. So they're coming in and they're looking good. So I'm just gonna lay that one back in there. Let's look at some of our sugar snap peas. They are coming in, finally my peas are coming in. I see that I have some beautiful flowers coming in so whenever you see a flower you're going to get some peas so they look good you guys so so excited sorry I got this trellis about to fall on me so but the plant looks good and so I'm very pleased because even I got more beans coming in so I'll keep you updated on my beans all right let's go put this trellis where it needs to go this is my cucumber plant right here let me get these gloves situated. Look at how big it is. Look how beautiful it is. It is ready. And it's got the tendrils right there that needs to get latched on. So it's all big and healthy and it's laying over. So I got to get that tied up. This one is doing good. I just need to get this tendril to attach on. This is where I put that, um, that little trellis right here. So hopefully I can get this to to latch on let me see if I can get that little tendril to secure itself around here which would be nice trying to wrap it around there so give it some kind of guidance to let them know hey that's the way you're supposed to go up that trellis so that one's good I see I have another one down here and I got all this doggone grass in here that I gotta pull out I ain't trying to have grass in here, but let me get this one situated. This cucumber plant, because it wants to go outwards, and I need it to go. I should have brought my tie so I could tie it, but let's see if we can do it this way, which would be cool. Cool, cool. be nice if I could get this bad boy to come in this way. To lean it that way yeah so having to go through the trellis and then once it get a little bit bigger then I will train it to go up but that is looking good that cucumber plants looking good let's go down here and check out these this one is my Amish melon which I'm gonna pull these off because they're touching the soil and we don't want that because that'll just promote Oh, man, that'll pull the whole freaking plant out. Oh, that's why I should always have my snippers. I got one more 
Amish melon and I also have one that I showed you in that previous video so that's good and then I have my squash over there so this area is looking good so mad about me just popping off my um Amish melon that's okay I'll know next time I've got to be gentle that's why I don't have my tripod with me and I'm over here trying to film and get this together but that's okay I'm gonna get another trellis and I'm gonna stick it right behind this one so I'll have I brought three so I'm gonna line all the three up here but let's go and check out the um, squash I was gonna talk about these these onions remember I got that um, black landscaping um, material that had the holes in the middle and they were supposed to be perfectly spaced for my onions remember I purchased those onions from Dixondale um, Farms and they had to be over 50 onions red white <sighs> now I couldn't see any of my onions because I was like why is my onions not growing so I decided to take off that tarp all the way down to where my finger is all the way to here look out of all those 50 onions I think I have maybe like 15 onions something has come through and have eaten all my onions and I know rabbits don't well I can't say that because I've seen um, nibbles in the past come and sit on the top of my Dollar Tree planter and eat the tops of onions. So I know rabbits will eat the tops of your onions, but I didn't think raccoons. What else? I got over here possums. I got Rocky. I got um, Swiper the Fox. What is has eaten my onion? So now I'm on the struggle bus for these doggone onions. So now. I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to put okra in the back because that's what I had here um, before I made this bell pepper lane. So I'm going to put okra in the back. I'm going to get some more onions and put them through like the middle part. And then in the front, I may do some leeks. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if that's going to happen, but that's what I am going to attempt you hear me say attempt because I am on a serious struggle bus and this is my second year trying to grow big bulbing onions that you can get in the grocery store because I'm not trying to go to the store you guys know how I feel about that so I'm gonna try I'm not gonna give up if you guys have any suggestions out there hit your girl up let me know because I wanted some onions I don't care if I would have got five onions two onions one onion I would have been happy with that so now I have another blank canvas in order to replant some other stuff so that's what I'm gonna do I have a couple of okra plants I can stick here but I think I'm gonna have to go since they have a sale memorial sale going on which is um, have passed but I'm gonna try to see if I can get like maybe maybe eight um, okra plants and that should be enough because I want to um, restock my freezer with my okra. So that's what your girl is doing now. All right, let's roll over here and see how my squash is doing. Oh, these onions, onions, onions. Look at this. Absolutely nothing. Got one there, but I weeded it and it still looks messed up. So I don't know. All right, so I have my squash over here. Let me show you this and they are doing fantastic look squash here i got a squash there i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a cage and i'm going to stick the um the squash in the cages before they get um too big to where i can't get them into the cages and that's how i'm going to have my squash plant so i'm gonna get that done today because it's supposed to rain at noon and it's getting close to that time so let me get on with the good foot oh let's go check out the um parsnip they look like something's poking up over there see over there in that planter i gotta watch my step because my grass is kind of high over here so 
I got to be vigilant when I come over here and see what's going on. So, I always have to look around before I enter into this space over here. Alright. Oh, look. The parsnips are doing good, you guys. They're doing really, really good. Let me see if I can get up closer so you can get a better look. Look at that. Can you see the parsnips? Look at that. They're coming in strong. Alright, because that's the half-long parsnip. And this is the um, hollow crown parsnips. But they look really good. Look at that. Beautiful. Hope you can see it because it's kind of cloudy. But the sun is in the weirdest places. I'm just hoping I can get, you know, a few of these. And so far I see one, two, three, four, five. Ha ha! So I'm happy, happy, happy. All right. And I got this planter over here that I want to put some sunflowers in so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out but I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video so I'm gonna get this just a few things done so I can um, get my sunflowers rolling all right guys hope you're having a wonderful day hope you're having a blessed day and Miss Renee will definitely see you in the next video look at my day lily let me zoom you in these gnats and stuff are out here big time good grief all right, Day Lily, show them how beautiful you are. All right, guys, take care.